So in this video, I'll be showing you the simplest way for making home automation using Home Assistant in a true DIY form, which means it doesn't require a lot of components, no custom design PCB required and also no fancy coding needed. So anyone of you who wants to control their home appliances without any prior knowledge, well, this is the video for you guys. So now let me show you how to make this project quickly. So for making this project, we'll need an eight channel relay module, a Xiao ESP32 C3 development board and a five volt one ampere power adapter. And that's it. That's all you need. And if you want to get these or any other electronic components, well, you can purchase it from our store techesms.com and get it delivered at your doorstep. And that's how you can also support our work and our YouTube channel. Now here I chose the Xiao ESP32 C3 board because it's very small in size. Plus the design of the board is so flexible that I can shoulder this board onto a general purpose PCB with the help of the SMD pads without any headers. So I started making the connections between the Xiao C3 board and the relay module according to this connection diagram. Now after all the connection, I added this DC power jack so that I can give power directly with a 5V adapter. And that's the complete hardware. Now here I went for a general purpose PCB because I wanted to make it in one single day. But if you have time of around 7 to 10 days, well you can go with the custom design PCB to make this project way way smaller. So here's the PCB design for the same project and the size is just 3.5 by 3 centimeter in size. And if you're wondering how we can get this PCB delivered within 7 to 10 days, well, you can get it from GLC PCB. So GLC PCB is one of the largest PCB manufacturer in China. And here you can get your own custom PCBs delivered by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking, and just place your order. Now here, if you select the fastest delivery option, well, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So you can try ordering your own custom design PCBs for your next project using GLC PCB to get the best quality PCB at best rates and also with fast shipping. I'll be leaving away all the links down in the description of this video. So after this simple hardware, let's have a look over the firmware part of the project. So for that, first of all, we need to have the Home Assistant server running on a Raspberry Pi board. Now, I already made a video about how to install this Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi, whose link is in the i button and the description. But I guess if you're watching this video, you must be familiar with Home Assistant and how to install it. So now let's quickly go to the Home Assistant account and let's see how to configure our project. So for this, you first need to connect your computer with the same Wi-Fi network on which your Raspberry Pi running on Home Assistant server is connected. And after that, just type out as homeassistant.local-8123 and press enter. Then log into your Home Assistant account by providing your credentials. And here is my Home Assistant dashboard. And now the first step is you need to go to settings and you need to go to add-ons and here click on add-on store. Now just type out here as ESP Home and click on this. Click on install and this will install the ESP home add-on that will help us to control our appliances on the shower board. Now after a couple of minutes it will get successfully installed and here now you can click on the start button which will start running the ESP home on our home assistant. Here I'll click on show in sidebar so that I can get a shortcut on the sidebar so that I can access it quite easily. Now here I'll click on the ESP home button and here I'll click on new device. I'll click on continue and give this device the name as Shao. Now here we need to specify the chipset. So we do have the ESP32C3 chipset here and we got an encryption key which we need to copy and save it in our computer. And after that, let's just click, uh, click on the skip button as of now. And here we get an shout.yml file. Now this is not exactly the coding file, but all the functionalities of the microcontroller will depend upon this yml file. So here we can click on the edit button and here we need to provide a couple of parameters like we need to provide the board type. Now here the board type is not this uh, C3 dev kit V1, rather here the board type is seed underscore shao underscore ESP32 C3. And now here we'll provide the SID name and password of the Wi-Fi router through which our Xiao board will get the internet connectivity. And after that, under the captive portal, we need to specify what we want to do. So here we want to control the eight different relays. And here we'll provide these much line in which what I've defined here is I defined eight different kind of relay with the name relay one, relay two, up to relay eight. And in the output section, what I define is I just defined the GPI number on which the uh, particular relay is connected, like GPI two, GPI three, and up to GPI 20. So that's all you need to do inside this .yml file. And after that, we can click on the save button. And now I can click on the install button. 
and here we have uh, several different ways in which we can upload the firmware into our development board but here i'll choose the plug into computer running esp home dashboard but for that you first need to connect your shao c3 board with the raspberry pi board running the home assistant and after that when i click on this option i automatically get a com port here so i'll select it and now it will kind of compile this code and upload this firmware so we need to wait for a couple of minutes Okay, so the firmware is successfully uploaded and uh, we got all the data logs here. But now what we can do is we can go to the notification section and here we can see new device discovered. So we can click on check it out. And here as you can see that Xiao ESP Home is discovered by Home Assistant automatically. We can click on the configure button, click on submit, click on finish. And now I can go to the overview section and here if I, if I click on this edit dashboard, now I can click on add card to add all the appliances, all the buttons to control my relays connected to the Xiao board. So here I can select the big button or if I go to buy entity and if I click on all the relays here and click on continue button, I can get this single widget in which I can get all the small, small buttons to control different, different relays. So we got the widget, I can click on the done button and now I can send data to the Xiao board. So now let's just test this product practically. So now what I'll do is I'll remove the Xiao board from the Raspberry Pi board, connect it to the relay board. And after that, I'll give the five volt power supply using this DC power jack. And here now I can control the bulbs connected with the relay module quite easily and instantly with the help of the the home assistant dashboard on my mobile phone and not only on the mobile phone i can also access all these appliances and control them using the laptop as well now here the latency is very very less as everything is working under local area network only yes your smartphone or the laptop through which you are controlling should be connected to the same wi-fi router on which the home assistant and the xiao c3 board are connected and let me tell you it won't work outside this local area network and that's how you can control multiple of your home appliances with the simple DIY project. Now the idea behind the project and the video came through my YouTube analytics where it says that you all people really want to learn the DIY home automation using Home Assistant and here's the video for you so I hope it helped. And similarly, do let me know your suggestion in the comments about what next project you want to see on our channel and I'll definitely consider your request and make one for you. And yeah. That being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. <laughs>